and I'll show you the the roof so here's the roof I've got a whole bunch of stuff growing corn is a little bit different now before it used to grow one corn and then which you could loot and then that would destroy the plant then it would grow two uh, a, a second level of, of corn which would be two corn and you could pick up the two corn middle and it wouldn't destroy the rest of the plant and then it would keep regrowing that two corn middle or it would then grow a three uh, corn top and then you could loot the three corn top and the two corn middle and that would give you five corn total and you'd leave the bottom part and then it would grow again now it's different now it grows up a little bit for nothing then it grows a middle of two and then it grows a top of five so you want to wait for that you want to loot the five at the top so this takes a while to grow but after it gets up to five it's it's fantastic and it just keeps giving it to you um, here's some cotton that I'm growing uh, that that isn't new corn growing isn't new just just how the, uh, the the resources are distributed is new potatoes aren't new although they don't give you I think it was three or four now they only give you two per plant I remember previously before alpha 10 you just get a ton of potatoes so now they've reduced that yield you can now grow goldenrod which is uh, convenient I'll show you that so you can get seeds now from goldenrod and then plant them so another thing that's a little strange is when you use the hoe to uh, make the ground uh, plantable it kind of distorts it and I'm not really sure why I think what what they've done is if you have like a field whoops if you have a field like a whole a whole like a large square of land if you till it all with the hoe it actually makes it makes mounds but if you got little strips of mud like this then it doesn't look right but anyways uh, if you do use ground out there then it will um, it will make it uh, hilly which I guess is supposed to be like a farmland is one thing I think is different though is you can also walk on the plants and they don't destroy themselves and you don't need to water them anymore it used to be that you had to have a water I think it was three squares away there had to be some water and that would darken the dirt but you don't need that anymore also here's coffee so they have put a coffee plant in you can take coffee beans and just make a plant and the plant grows it grows up into a two yield plant and that's it and you loot it one thing though that I should warn you there is a bug and it's probably will be fixed very soon in just a quick hot fix hopefully if you try to loot coffee beans from a plant and you have belt space open it will not loot it and it will destroy the plant on you what you have to do is you have to fill your belt completely and keep an inventory space full in your backpack so make sure the belt is full and the backpack is empty then loot the coffee bean and it will loot it so there it is the same thing goes for blueberries if you plant it yourself if you go and loot blueberries out in the uh, winter the, the winter um, land areas give you uh, there's tons of blueberries in the winter areas that's okay you can loot it to your belt but if you grow a blueberry plant yourself you must make sure your belt is full or the blueberry won't you won't be able to loot it so I'll just plant these uh, coffee beans back down so I'll just put them uh, here and here hopefully there we go yeah so they'll grow they don't they're uh, fairly quick to grow the corn I guess is the slowest but um, it's also pretty fantastic when you get up to five you can also of course grow trees up here with just some dirt and they'll just for convenience as opposed to walking out there I should also mention another reason why I built um, in the lake here hopefully I'm, the game isn't really really dark right now but it is nighttime hopefully you can see a bit of the moonlight there which actually is graphics in this game are fairly good um, another reason why I built on the lake here is that any zombies or, or any players that come to attack my base have to wade through the water it makes noise and it slows them down and they're basically screwed because I can just stand up here and just shoot them and that's it another thing I was doing is I because I built near a um, some prefab buildings prefab means that prefabricated meaning that the game started with the buildings these are like NPC buildings kind of even though there's no NPCs yet uh, because there's a, an apartment building kind of over here it's sort of like a three-story apartment building I was building a tower up here and 
it actually collapsed partly on me. And I'm not sure why. The physics should be fine because it's it's just straight up and it's resting on um, on this part here. I don't know if I had used cement all the way up. This is just uh, log cabin wood. But I'm not sure, quite sure how the physics works with um, compression. Like how much, I don't know if it calculates weight because what happened was all this, you see how this is open? I, I had log wood all the way up here, but it fell, it just crushed. So I'm not quite sure how the physics works with compression, with weight, with uh, what, uh, how much is the, the building is sitting on and if it just crushes it, but anyways. So I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll make it into cement or something. Another quick little thing is uh, before Alpha 10, you used to be able to take oil barrels and place them down and then shoot them and then they would start on fire and they would just stay like that and be on fire. And I wanted to do that for my base just kind of for fun is to have these oil barrels sitting up here on these pillars and they would just be on fire all day and all night just kind of as an effect, right? Just kind of, uh, But it, they got rid of that. You can't put, you can't place flaming oil barrels in or oil barrels anymore. They just explode if you shoot them. Although they don't do any damage for some reason. Uh, so that's gone. Another thing that's changed is torches. You can no longer just throw a torch down, which kind of sucks because that was very helpful for in the mine. If you're mining somewhere, you can just throw a torch down, but now you can't do that. You have to build these holders. You see this metal thing here? You have to build these torch holders, which I'll show you. Uh, so that's just forged iron and just a pipe there and uh, it makes these torch holders. The torch holders have yet to have a icon so they just kind of show up and there's a little number here but anyways you can still place them and then you throw a torch in it and then the torch burns forever but it, you still have to build these holders which is kind of a pain. I'm not really sure why they did that. Um, it was just as convenient to just throw the torch anywhere on the ground um, on the wall anywhere you wanted but oh well I guess they want to increase the realism a bit and not allow you just to stick a torch uh, on the wall anywhere you want they want to you to put a holder down yeah so that's a f the roof one thing I, I guess I should uh, mention one thing I haven't finished building yet is this side I was gonna put some more glass here because if I'm under siege um, and I stick my head out like this, I'm just going to get my head shot off, right? That's no good. So it's better to stand behind some glass, like over here. So I suppose I still have to hop up, but I guess if I was shooting anybody over here, I was going to go up in this tower, but in any case, to shoot, you have to expose yourself, so. But this is what I was going to do. And at least the glass, then, they couldn't shoot through here. Uh, another thing in this game is the keystones work the same. Uh, these keystones, I don't have any to show you, but uh, they you place them, and then other players, uh, the damage, essentially it, da it does damage reduction to all your blocks. So, not to zombies though, but just to other players. If you put a keystone, I believe it's 32 blocks, but I think the server can set, uh, can set that. You put a keystone somewhere, like let's say this block right here was a keystone, 32 blocks in all directions have damage resistance to players and it's high so and it uh, and it accumulates it's cumulative so if you have more than one keystone in, in the same area the blocks are even tougher so for example I've got two keystones in this base hidden if a player wanted to get in here they'd have to drill through this door and apparently it would take about half an hour and 30 cans of gas of an auger to get through this metal door that's going to deter basically everyone so they're not going to bother uh, what are what players do like to loot is bases that don't have any keystones and then that's pretty easy just to get through just take a chainsaw or whatever and just cut through the wood or or you take an auger but not with this base and especially with the water out here it should be pretty uh, pretty difficult and not very fun I actually was trying to do a double door here uh, but it was wasn't working right I'm not really sure why but I'm not sure exactly what the rules are for placing a door I believe it was only simply that you had to have a bottom and you had to have two blocks beside it to place a door and then you could place a door anywhere you wanted but it doesn't quite work because I wanted to I was gonna place a door here or here on this block here like this and then place another door here but I won't let me do that there may be another rule that says that you can't have a door you can't have a door uh, one square away from another door so that's possible here's a zombie over here I was just gonna mess with 
Um, some servers will have it so zombies run at night. So right now it's nighttime. Nighttime, I believe, is defined as 2,200 hours to 700 hours. And in that time, zombies will run. Let's see if the zombie runs. I don't think uh, the zombie is going to run, though. No. Uh, but um, other servers don't have zombies running, and so they just walk around as they normally do, even if it's at night. I don't think the zombie even sees me yet, but it doesn't matter. So there is still only... There's still only four firearms in the game, five firearms in the game. There is the standard pistol, which I don't have one on me right now. Standard 9mm pistol. There is the standard pump or sawed-off shotgun. This is a pump shotgun. There is the standard hunting rifle, which is a one-shot, and you got to reload. And it's pretty good against uh, animals, but that's about it. And then there's a sniper rifle which you have to find parts for. And the only place to find parts is in munition boxes. Oh, here's a walker. Here's a crawler, I mean. Muni munition boxes, which are where they've always been. That's not a change. But in, uh, but one thing that has changed in Alpha 10 is they now have uh, a couple different prefab buildings that are new. Uh, one of them is like a fact or not a factory. It's like a warehouse. And the warehouse has crates that generate loot and the the loot generated oh i'm i need to eat something the loot generated uh by them i don't have any food on me is um the same that a munition box would there's these shot these uh, shotgun storage crates i think they're called and they um they generate a sniper rifle. I've I was just there about an hour ago. There's a ruined city near me that has a, a warehouse, which is a new prefab building, and in it there's about ten of these storage boxes, and I was able to loot SMG parts, which is submachine gun. So that's also in this game that shoots ten millimeter. I was able to loot parts for that and sniper rifle parts. So that's great because before that, the only way you can get that stuff is uh, luckily in a storage. Um, uh, luckily in a drop box from a plane or you can get them from munition boxes. Munition boxes are not are rare. They're only in these certain kind of buildings. Um, but um, now you can get them from these storage boxes which are in these warehouses. Another thing that's added in um, Alpha 10 is which is not fun uh, they've they've added character creation. I 